Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Imagine waking up, getting ready for school, and instead of hopping into a regular car, you step into a flying car. You press a button, the wheels fold in, propellers spin up, and suddenly, you're lifting off the ground. No more waiting in traffic, no more stoplights, just smooth flying all the way. Sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, right? But guess what? Scientists and engineers are working on flying cars right now. Today, we're going to explore the future of cars. Will cars really fly? How would they work? And what other cool car inventions could we see in the next 50 years? By the end of this video, you'll know all about the most exciting automobile innovations of the future. Let's start with a question. Why do cars need to change? Right now, millions of cars are on the road every day, and traffic is a big problem. Wouldn't it be great if cars could just take off and fly over traffic jams? That's one reason scientists are working on flying cars. Another reason is pollution. Gas-powered cars release harmful gases into the air, which is bad for the planet. Scientists are designing cars that are better for the environment, like electric cars and solar-powered cars. And let's not forget about speed. A regular car can take hours to drive across a big city. But a flying car? It could cut that time in half. Imagine traveling from one city to another in minutes instead of hours. That would change everything. Now let's talk about how a flying car would actually work. Real airplanes use something called lift to rise into the sky. Their wings are shaped in a way that bends air downward, pushing the plane up. But a flying car is different. It needs to work both on the road and in the air. That's why most flying car designs use propellers or jet engines, just like a helicopter or a drone. These spinning blades push air downward, making the car go up. But lift alone isn't enough. These cars also need thrust to move forward and steering controls to turn in the air. And here's a big question. What would power these flying cars? Right now, most cars run on gasoline, but that wouldn't work well for a flying car. Instead, scientists are designing electric flying cars that would run on batteries. These would be quieter, cleaner, and better for the environment. Some scientists are even exploring hydrogen-powered cars. These cars would run on hydrogen fuel, which is even cleaner than electricity. Quiz time, true or false? Flying cars would need propellers or jet engines to lift off the ground. Think you know the answer? Hey, you're watching Goalie's Pip Academy, where we teach about science, geography, history, everything about the whole world. If you want to watch these classes with no ads, no distractions, go to getgoalie.com. If you said true, then well done. That's right. Flying cars need something powerful, like propellers or jet engines, to push them into the sky. Now let's talk about some real flying car designs. One of the most famous flying cars is called the Aeromobile 3.0. It looks like a normal car, but when it's ready to fly, wings fold out from the sides. It can take off from a runway, just like a small airplane. Another cool one is called the Air Car. This car actually transforms from a car to an airplane in just three minutes. Imagine driving to a small airport, pressing a button and flying away. And guess what? Some companies are working on flying taxis. Imagine calling a taxi, but instead of a car pulling up, a small aircraft lands right in front of you. Flying cars aren't the only cool inventions being worked on. Scientists are also working on self-driving cars. These are cars that don't need a driver at all. Instead, they use cameras, sensors, and computers to drive safely on their own. Tesla and Google are already testing self-driving cars, and they could become common in just a few years. Imagine getting in your car, typing your destination, and then just sitting back while the car does all the work. And here's something even cooler, solar-powered cars. 
These futuristic cars would have solar panels on their roofs, collecting energy from the sun instead of using gas. That means no pollution and endless power on sunny days. Quiz time. Which futuristic car could drive without a human driver? A, a race car. B, a solar powered car. C, a self-driving car. D, a bicycle. Think you know the answer? If you said C, a self-driving car, then well done. That's right. Self-driving cars use cameras, sensors, and computers to drive all on their own. Now, you might be wondering, when will we actually see flying cars in the real world? The truth is, some flying cars already exist, but they are very expensive, and there are still big challenges to solve. Where would they take off and land? How would traffic work in the sky? Scientists and engineers are still figuring these things out. Right now, flying cars are mostly being used for testing and special missions. If flying cars become normal, the world would be very different. Instead of roads, there might be sky highways where flying cars travel at different levels in the sky. People might even build houses with rooftop landing pads. And what about schools? Maybe kids would ride air buses that pick them up from the sky instead of the road. Flying cars could also help in emergencies. If someone is hurt, a flying ambulance could get them to a hospital faster than a regular ambulance stuck in traffic. One thing is for sure, the future of cars is going to be amazing. Whether it's flying cars, self-driving cars, or solar-powered cars, the way we travel is going to change in ways we can only imagine today. Would you rather have a flying car or a self-driving car? Or maybe even a solar-powered one? Let us know. And if you loved learning about the future of transportation, make sure to subscribe to our channel to learn more and check out our other fun science videos. See you next time. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.